Hey guys, welcome to SAP Technomaniac. In this video, we will discuss about the difference between DDIC-based CDSU and the CDSU entities. Let's get started. DDIC-based CDSU already got absolute. SAP recommend us to use the CDSU entities. Why? The question is why. Why SAP came up with the CDSU entities? We already have the CDS DDIC-based view. The because whenever we have activated the CDS view, which is DDIC BAS, there is three objects. One was the, uh, the DDIC shorts, second was the CDS entity, third was the SQL view. But ultimately, we never used the SQL view and DDIC shorts name anywhere. Because wherever we are using the we, have, we were using the CDS entity in select statement we have to use CDS entity name or we are calling somewhere else this particular CDS or inside some other CDS also we have to use the CDS entity name only. Then what is the use of the CDS SQL view name? There is no use. Still we were having that particular SQL view for each each CDS entity just the namesake of the displaying in the SE 11 That is also no use at all. We can't edit in the SE 11 that particular uh, DDIC based SQL view. Then what was the use? There is no use. So that, that is the reason SAP removed that DDA, that SQL view itself and they came up something called the CDS view entities in, in this instead of the DDIC based CDS view. And second thing, there is a small small difference was there. We will see in the system also. Uh, we use the defined view for the DDIC based entity and the CDS view entities we are using the defined view entity when we create the uh, CDS view and CDS minus DDIC view were created in this case it is not created and these are still supported but most important thing I want to tell uh, this DDIC based CDS view is still supported because we when SAP have started they came up with, came up with this kind of CDS only that is the reason these are the supported because they want to they, there should be some downward compatibility uh, and we still we can convert this cds ddic based view to cds view entity as well so let's jump into the system we will see these all the cds view entities thing in the system itself as you know from my last video we have created one ddic based cds view and that view you can see we have defined the cds entity name as a gcds sample 01 and the CDS view name was the GBSQL sample 01. Now what we will do, we will create one CDS view entity and we will compare between the DDIC based CDS view and CDS entity. So for defining the CDS view entity, you have to right click uh, on same package where you have, want to create, you can click on new data definition. It's a similar to DDIC based CDS view only. Let me create one new, let me uh, one new CDS and this CDS is, is created for the defined view entity instead of defined view. Defined view means DDIC based CDS view and defined view entity means newer version of the uh, DDIC based CDS view I can say defined view entity. So let me click on next button, give some TR, click on next button. And you can see there is already ready-made templates are there. So we have used last video in defined view as a template. Uh, there you can see some by default uh, annotations are there. But in this one, we have to create view entity. So we will use defined view entity instead of the defined view. So let me finish it up. Once it is created, let me open it parallelly and minimize this project explorer. So you can see first difference in this one, there is no annotation called SQL view name. And let me give, before going to that, let me give one basic table as a data source and activate the defined view entity. So it's select from let me give some data shorts name VBAK, which we have used in my last last. There is no difference between the select statement. There is difference in the uh, some of the annotations code removed and unnecessary things code removed, which we will see in this video. 
so otherwise select statement wise there is no difference as of now i can see so the, this will be same i am using uh, same customer and sales order to get the data from the vba k table and let me activate this one control f3 it will get activated there is no error the first thing since we have only single object in this that is cds entity so that is the reason we can't uh, uh, activation will be faster because here we have to activate multiple object here we have to activate only single object so in the when we use define view entity obviously activates activation will be faster since in this we have created the ddic with uh, one sql view was created in this no sql view will be created and the next one in the select statement is if you can see we have used last time this filled list something called the filled list to define after the defined view uh, to display how the filled description the column description will be displayed when we do the data preview that we can change in the filled list here but there was no use of this filled list because that we can do using the alias as well why we have to change in the alias the description and again we have to change in the filled list so that is the reason in the defined view entity syntax this filled list is not supported we can't give the filled list additionally here this was, that is the reason i am telling it's an improvised version of the ddic best view so this filled list is not supported in the defined view entity that is next difference apart from that some of the annotations got removed which is not required to use in the defined view entity which we were using in ddic best view so let me show you some of the internet this got removed and second is the description obviously we need some description for our uh, new view entity so that is still valid and this one got removed from the defined view entity now no need to use uh, this preserve key equal to true it is by default this annotation value is true and it's uh, it will be without defining this annotation itself it is true only whatever we will define the key key in the cds view that will be only considers considered uh, if you don't know about the what is this annotations i already explained these all the annotations in my last video you can watch out that video so you if i try to uh, use this annotation in define view entity what will happen it will give us error so it will give us error like that it is not valued for the defined view entity this particular annotation is not allowed in view entities but this error we didn't get in the ddic based cds view so because it's a by default it is true no need to define this annotations sap took care of us uh, took care this new version it is by default true we no need to define the true as a uh, this preserve key equal to true the next annotation is the buffering the buffering annotation also removed from the ddic view entity there is some new approach to do buffering in some other video we will discuss that approach as well but as of now i just want to tell that in the defined view entity we don't have any buffering annotation at all the next is enhancement category this is still valid that is the reason they have used here and the compiler compiler filter equal to true that is also got absolute in the defined view entity we no need no need to require to define this particular and to annotation it is by default true the what is this annotation watch out my last video and next next is data maintenance is restricted it is still valid and authority check one is it is still valid and the client handling is not valid means now in the cds view entity the if we try to put these annotation which is not required now it will go give us error this is this particular annotations are not valid but let me try it out one more annotation let me put this client handling annotation as a i want to do the client handling explicitly but it is it will give us error this particular annotation is not allowed in the view entity why it is not allowed the how the client handling is happening so for client handling it depends upon the data source what data source we are using it automatically assembly define the client handling for the cds suppose we have used the 
all the table in our CDS which is client independent then this CDS entity will become automatically client independent and at least one table if we have as a client dependent then the CDS entity become automatically client dependent if it is client dependent then how the client uh, uh, client handling is happening it will happen always implicitly so it will be always automatic client handling will happen and the where on the where condition we will use session variable the algorithm will be used as a session variable so as i explained this algorithm in my last video but still i want to say on the own condition we will use the uh, session variable mandate client session variable which we have used in last video in the fill list that we will use that will be used implicitly and the client will be handled implicitly automatically so this this is about the client handling so this is also not valid it this will be done by the sap so you saw most of this thing which was the unnecessary in our ddic best view though those got removed so let me see some of if I something got missed these are the thing list of the things I already prepared so I don't miss any point. So in old version you don't get option to create obviously if you try to create in the lesser version this de defined view entity you will be not having option to create this defined view ent entity. It is supported in the new version only 7.55 and onwards in only it is supported if, otherwise uh, we can't create in the below version we can't create this entity and we will use, we use define view entity as a syntax instead of using the define view uh, it's improved performance during the activation that i already explained no additional ddic of object is created that also i have already explained optimization and simplification of syntax that means we removed unnecessary annotations we removed unnecessary Filled lists now not required this fill list because we are already we can give already this alias name over here why we need additionally this particular fill list and the SQL view and this this is not supported obviously we are we are not going to create any SQL view so obviously it is not required name list is not allowed below not annotations are not required these are automatically by default put for you both are the true and it's if you try to define this one syntax you will get the syntax error client handling tech place implicitly buffering annotations are not supported this i already have explained most of the things i didn't miss thankfully i didn't miss any point so i have created the cds view a cds view entity and you can see the ddl source name let me show you this ddl source name and the CDS view entity name is the same or it's a mandatory thing I if I try to change some other name it will give us a syntax error what the what is the error I am getting the defined view entity and the DDL source must be identical that's that's now SAP telling you how these two names should be identical then only because we want to create ultimately one view only in the database we no need to we don't want to create multiple thing one entity and one sql view that is the reason as i become let me create let me put that name back and activate my view and minimize this one this is about the difference between the ddic based uh ddic based cds view and the cds view entity in my next video we'll talk about the some of the anton annotations we didn't discuss about in this uh, in my previous video like this object model this is also valid for the ddic base view also and this ignorant propagate annotation about this also we will discuss in our next video hey guys i hope you learned something new from this video before going to next video please like this video subscribe this channel with that thank you and happy learning